Hello everybody and welcome back to Belle's channel. Today we are going to be doing a few quests. Um, we're going to be doing the kidnapping at Oberlin Station. Uh, we're going to start Troubled Waters only because we've got um, uh, Codsworth but it is a very difficult mission so we won't be doing that till a bit later when I've got some good weapons. And we're also going to be going to Diamond City so we're going to be doing quite a lot. I am back where we uh, originally were uh, so obviously there's that little house where there was that like, raiders with the Maya lurks and drumlin diners just just uh... where is it it's up the road anyway so here's a little sneak peek so if you get to that house which is literally just down the road from drumlin diner i just can't see it if you pass this trailer which uh... i got the key from wicked shipping which is over here yeah there is <clears throat> so if you get to here if you go that uh, was Lexington's just over there if you go this way to the blue train you're going to come across something you might like um let's have a quick look in here ooh ammo yeah so you're going to come across something you might like which is some power armour um now you can't get into it without having advanced on your beyond. terminal I do not have that so we can't get it right now but where, where is it which skill is it I can't remember which skill it is oh here it is so there I don't ha I haven't upgraded to level 19 yet though I'm very very close but I will be coming back to this when I can and I'll probably be bringing a companion who likes it when uh, you hack terminal so that'll be Deacon Nick Valentine X688. I don't know whether Codsworth likes that. Um, so as we're walking to Grey Garden, which is just straight down, uh, this is a place with robots. We'll, we'll get, get, you know, see it when we get to it. But speaking of companions, um, this survival guide is just how you survive Fallout, the walkthrough, and my primary focus other than the actually going through the walkthrough I mean Fallout's been out for a while so I don't expect you not to be familiar with the whole storyline but um, I really like getting all the perks from companions I don't know whether that's common in Fallout players but it is like my second primary mission um, so that's kind of what this survival guide is also going to contain a lot about it's going to contain a lot about um, how to get companions to you know how to get their perks and how to get max affinity with with your companions I don't know what this is ah uh, I don't really want to mess around but I bet there's going to be some good loot here Uh, yeah, so as I said, my primary mission is to get. Um, oh my god, I cannot focus with this shit going on. Yeah, my primary focus is to gain the perks uh, from companions. So when I'm doing this survival guide, a lot of it will be companion orientated. Uh, so I'll be doing missions with specific companions. Um, there are some which should solely be with certain companions but there are others where you can choose you know because it'll have the same outcome um, but I would obviously in the then videos when we come across them I will tell you uh, you know you can play this with Codsworth, Preston da, 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 um, and things like that but yeah again solely companion I mean it's of course up to you but uh, this is just how I play it and how I get these perks all of these perks from the companions so it is worth 
Loctite. Brother Edmonds. Shit, I'm getting irradiated. Um. Oh, so yeah, yes. so Nothing a little. Like so I'm d that's basically. Ooh, that was close. So that's basically it. So like right now, I'm going to tell you, you know, go speak to the people at Grey Garden with Cosworth because you'll get more likes than you would with a normal companion. Because yes, it's a settlement quest, but it's like a special one, um, and it just works better with uh, Codsworth. Um, you, as you can see, Codsworth love that. It doesn't happen. You can't just keep doing it. It'll happen. I think you have to wait. I know for other companions, you wait two hours and you do the same action, but it's a bit weird with Codsworth. But yeah. Um, Standard rule is if you're doing an action such as lock picking, if you sit down or sleep for two hours and do it again, you'll gain another like or love, depending on who the companion is and what action you are doing. Um, so people are sleeping here. Um, so yeah, so that was what I was going to talk to you about. Codsworth loves it when you tinker with armor, and you'll get another love when you tinker with weapons don't really think it happens with um uh with um power armor there are other companions who like it when you mess with power armor but i don't think codsworth that gone on it ignore that that's just a mission that i'll just pop up we'll play on that later when we've got curie as a companion because she loves joining that faction Alright, so this is Grey Garden. It is. Well, let's just have a look around. Welcome to Grey Garden, darling. This is the Commonwealth's first and only hydroponics facility run entirely by robots. So, certain. Obviously, with Codsworth, he's going to like this a lot more. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you a little trick. The same one with the hacking terminals um, I showed in previous videos. But if you save before you do this and you're doing, you need to explore. So you need humans, no humans, place them. That's, That's ingenious. ingenious. I bet you can work around the clock. Not only that, but your data collection and analysis See? must be top notch. Because with like that, other companions won't. So that's one like already. You need about five likes to equal one love. You see, there are two kinds of robots here. The worker drones carry out labor and maintenance. We supervisors, that is myself, green, green brown. and brown, possess sophisticated cognition processors. We are capable of complex analysis and decision making. A testament to the genius of our creator, Dr. Edward Gray. Genius is right. I remember him. What happened to him? He was crazy. Obviously, the man was brilliant to come up with something like this. I could hardly have said it better myself, darling. Robotics and artificial intelligence were our creation. Mm -hmm. Perhaps okay. you've noticed that I possess a rather singular personality, as do the other supervisors. So, there are some companions who just like it when you're sarcastic. They don't like it with all options but they they do sometimes um and there can be hidden companions like your companions will just like you know they're slowly let's say affinity bar will slowly and gradually go up very very slowly just by traveling with them it's happened to me a few times where one will just talk to me out of the blue and it's like well why have you done that i haven't done anything you like but it's because that's just added a few extra points you need you need like a thousand for each companion and like I can't, or is it a hundred? I don't know, it's, I think it's a hundred or something like that, it's a lot um, so we can use unique personalities, nothing special very, well, very it's unique. it's definitely unique sort of hard to miss I'll take that as a compliment darling. A second After like After all, the last thing any woman wants to be is ordinary That's A few true, other love. things you should know Green, if you need supplies. If it's caps you require, so you don't need to be jobs. just really quickly you don't need to be um, transferred shall we say 
um, to this quest by the Minutemen, you can just walk up and see them yourselves. Same with other settlements, really. There's one other thing. The question, really. Tell me, darling, what do you think of the water around here? So you do nothing special. Help from Minutemen. It's awful. It's fine. I don't really know how Codswater reacts, so I'll just give it a quick save. I'll say it's, it's awful. awful. <laughs> Isn't it, though? Depends Pressure's on what you think. Radiation is off. Why, it's practically toxic. Just think what it must be doing to my skin. This will never do. I don't mean to impose, darling, but perhaps you could lend us a hand. Something happened with Codsworth then. Uh, agree. All right. Marvelous. Simply marvelous. Most of our water comes from the old western plant south of here. Such an eyesore. Be a dear and pay a visit, hmm? See what you can do. Maybe tidy up the place. It must be filthy. If you can get it working again, I'm sure I can come up with something for you. I say. Have you noticed Unit 77J acting a bit strangely, Mike? Ah, yes. Quite right. Well, it just seems to be a tad slow of late, as if it's not running on a full charge. Jolly good. Just let me know if we need a new power unit, and I'll see if I can't make a trade for one. Bring me some mute fruits for seeding, and there'll be caps for your pocket. Off you go, then. Okay, so you can do these. There are in special settlements you can do little chores so you can grab the mute fruits from here but there are a lot more out there so you can you can grab all these mute fruits and go back to supervisor brown wherever is he there he is That's the mute fruits. That's the way. So you can only do this if you aren't affiliated Supervisor with them Brown. already. Ready to hand over those mute fruits? Yeah, I'll take them. Jolly good. There you go. Jolly good to see you. We could do with a spot of rain. Yeah, so that's... You can't trade with them, I don't think. There is another supervisor here. <laughs> there he is, supervisor... Oh, where is he gone? Supervisor Green, <clears throat> I don't think I'm going to talk to him right now because I don't think Codsworth's going to like it. But um, we'll go through it as soon as we're here. Just do a quick save because I might not like the outcome. Uh. Wow! Look at this, folks. We've got a special guest. Green. Green's the name, and trading's the game. Oh, he's the bar. You sound like a game show host. That's the correct answer. Well done. Ladies and gentlemen, should we tell the lucky contestant what fabulous prize she's won? Okay. Show me what I've won. Right this way, please. Let's take a look at your fabulous prize. So that's the show you need to do. And he'll take you to a lovely surprise. Supervisor Green? It's a brand new car! A rust bucket with no wow. wheels or windows now, or doors. If you've only got the latest in sleek, stylish, atomic powered automation, you can also take your winnings in the form of a cash prize. How does 100 cap? So you can take the cap so you can ask for more, but Codsworth isn't going to like it if you ask for more. To me, it doesn't really matter, so I'll just I'll take, take the cash caps. prize. Here you go, and if you want to use your winnings to make a few purchases from Robco, we certainly won't complain. Ha <laughs> ha! Well, it's been a real pleasure. Thanks for playing! Yay! Green. All right, so... Doesn't really matter with him, but... But if you had McCready, if you asked for more money, he'd like it. I think That'd so would Cat. So, I think you could do this at any time, to be fair. Um, I'm just going to sell some stuff, because I've got quite a bit I don't need. And he has got some caps I do need. <laughs> Like I don't need irradiated blood, do I? Actually, you want to keep quantum. They're very good for quick health. 
even better than Stimpak. There we go, 210 caps, simple trading. Alright, so let's continue. We're not going to be doing the western water plant because, oh my god, look how foggy it is. Because um, it is very hard to do. Uh, there's super mutants, super mutants, su suiciders, I think the word is. The western water plant is just over there, but um, you can see it on the bottom of the map. But yeah, as I said, there's super mutants out front. Super mutant suiciders, some with missile launchers. It is just not a good thing. So I like to cross this bridge. Um, if there's nothing here, so you can just click this, so you can get it as like a little marker on your map. It will come in handy later. Bean Town Brewery. So yeah, let me get back to the road. So now we're going to go to Oberlin Station, which is here. Uh, talk to ourselves. Apparently, there's been a kidnapping. Preston gave it up to us. So if you just follow the train tracks, it's the oh, shit. It's the quickest way. Execute critical hit. Nope. That's all. So yeah, if you just follow the train tracks, it's the quickest way to get to Overland Station. Um, obviously you can hit up stuff on the way around. Uh, you're going to come across this little tower. I'm sorry, but it's very, very foggy. Yeah, so this is Overland Station. Um, there's usually two people at settlements. Usually, um, if there's been a kidnapping, there will be one though. Excuse me. You've got to help. help. My sister's been kidnapped. Oh, I never knew they were sister. Calm down. It's okay. You just need to tell me what happened. They said they'd be back for the ransom in a few days. If I don't pay up, they'll kill her. But I don't have that kind of money. So there are two options you can do here. You can pay the ransom. Um. Do not click do you know where, you will not get any help, uh, sorry, ne any affinity from, I think that's the word for it, any kind of affinity from your companions. Strong likes it if you say teach them a lesson, but all the other companions like it when you say get her back, or Don't worry. whatever that what option is. We asked the Minutemen for help, but I didn't really think anyone would come. See, he likes Just it. Just bring her back safe, okay? Oberlin Station near enough always sends you to Backstreet Apparel, um, which is there, really close to Diamond City. Uh, generally, that would be your second mission from the Minutemen when you start, because it kind of gradually takes you down. Like, £10 Bluff always takes you to Convega, then the next one is Oberlin Station, and then you go to Backstreet Apparel, and then you're at Diamond City. Because I remember, I can still remember it, when I first played. Um, fall out and I saw that where Diamond City was I was like oh my god that is such a trek and it actually isn't it really really isn't right, so we're going to follow this road so it is as you can see there's a vault thing there we will not be going to that vault but um, we need to get to there so we're just going to find not going to find the river but we're going to cross Pass with it. Do you keep an eye out for anything? Yeah, I don't want to go over there because it is pretty dangerous around there because it is the edge of the Diamond City and there's a super mutant sometimes. Um, loads of bugs. Uh, there can be tons of ghouls there and it's not good. So we're just going to stick to the forest, the outer edge of the city. Um, I can kind of remember from Fallout 3, like, the city was a lot different. Like, I remember you always had to take the sub, like, go underground to get to the main cities. I did, what did I say? I said this would happen. Yep, just as we're reaching the edge of the city. So if you just go round, save on my health.
Yeah, they didn't see me. So as you get to here, there's not too much, generally. There is um, another settlement, if you're here from that bridge. It's just here. But there are raiders in there, so I don't really fancy going up there yet. And then this bridge, be careful because there's a boat there and raiders are on that boat. Some are in power armor. Alright, so this, we're going to come across Backstreet Appeal after we pass past that. Um, I'm going to get out a gun. They've got turrets and uh, a dude on watch outside. Let's see. Shit. Oh my god. I did not realise my health then. Oh no, where is it gonna put us? Where are we going to be? God, I hate this game sometimes. I'm sorry about that. I will try and be quick. I'm such an idiot. I should have saved well before. We're just gonna skip. Oh, fuck off. We're just gonna skip through the settings a bit. Do you, are you really gonna do this shit? Generally, the dogs are in packs. Sorry, yeah, we're just gonna skip through this and try and get back as quick as possible. <clears throat> so yeah, sorry about hey, those people. Help. My yes, we know she's been kidnapped. Me. Calm down. It's okay. They said. They Don't worry. We'll, we'll get, get her back. back. We asked the minute. Just bring her back. Thank you. <clears throat> Another like from Codsworth. It did say, like in the previous episode, that he admired me. So I don't know. I can't remember what it is. I think it's admired, then it's. I can't remember. I think it's adores. No, some of them are that. Fuck. Some of them are that. It's really weird because some companions. You know, they, they they can reach max affinity fairly quickly. Others not so much. Um Ooh the cool shack. Oh She must have been killed. We'll just loot your body, don't worry about it, love. Carrots Piss off My God. Um, alright, let me, let me do a quick save, just in case, you know what it's like. Um, yeah. Why are there super mutants? <laughs> How the fuck did I just miss you? Right. Yeah, so for some companions it can be extremely difficult to um, get them quite high. Uh, for others it isn't. I don't know what causes the difference. But uh, it, yeah, it kind of just like Codsworth I find sometimes they can be really quick other times it can be really really difficult and I'm not doing anything different dance is quite a hard person to get high up on the uh, 
like get max affinity. Preston isn't. He loves it when you take any minute in Preston. I think you need like ten loves to get him. So you ten minute in Preston, which you're going to do no matter what, and you get up there. Plus he likes it or he loves it. I can't remember which. When you um, when you do the whole what was it? A, a weapon modifications. And he also likes it when you help Mama Murphy stop taking chems. But I do caution you because you can really milk it and have Hancock and Kate, or Cat, whatever her name is, if you have them two as, not companions, but at Sanctuary Hills and take all your other companions to Red Rock or somewhere close. Um, and then you basically give Mama Murphy her chems. Don't give her too much because she will die at one point. Uh, spoiler alert, but yeah. Um, and then what you need to do? Hold on, I'm gonna aim for his head. Ooh, bitch. Um, yeah, so with Mama Murphy, so again, if you milk it so like she'll ask for jet, then she'll ask for medics, then she'll ask for mentats. You have to wait over time to do that, like 24 hours or something. So just go somewhere else, wait 24 hours, and then go back, um, and then do it again. And then you'll get like, and I think love from him. And then if you do Kate, Cat's Quest, which is hard, you don't have to do this, but if you do Cat's Quest, which is like really hard to do. Um, and you have to reach uh, so much affinity with her because a few of the companions do have their own quests like McCready, like a uh, cat, like uh, Valentine um, oops shit I'm stuck yeah so you have to do her quest and then you can go back to Mama Murphy, send Hancock away bring all your other companions there and then you'll get a like and a love from some different characters. So I think Preston definitely loves it. I think Cat might love it, but I'm sure it's just like, as I say, you go to extreme mes measures to get you know, their stuff, because it doesn't happen. So when you go in here for the first time, you need to just stay still. Do not move. It doesn't matter about your companion. Just do not move. Alright. Sorry, I know I'm talking a lot, but just don't move. I'm gonna. Sorry, the music is a little bit loud. That's not too bad now. Get some Molotovs. Actually, we use for a grenade. A couple years back, before I met Clutch, me and a couple. Let's listen to this. There are a few Raider stories that you can listen to, and they're pretty funny. Me, it's irritating. As soon as he 
tell me that. I thought of something. I quickly apologized for hitting him and told him it's nothing to be ashamed of. That night, me and the others got this kid so drunk so fast, he passed out within an hour. We then dragged him to the banks of the Charles. We also dragged six or seven mattresses and tied them in a circle with one in the middle. Mattresses? What did you need the mattresses for? Really? Did you seriously just ask me that question? It's a goddamn story. All you have to do is listen. So yeah, we tied all these mattresses together, and then we placed one mattress in the middle and put the kid on it. We doused all the mattresses with gas, except his, and then lit them on fire and pushed them down into the water. We followed the burning mattresses down the river, laughing our asses off when the kids wake up. After five minutes, we realized the kid wasn't going to wake up, so we all started throwing rocks at him. After a couple of hits, the kid's awake. At this point, the flames were huge. <laughs> Imagine what it must have been like for him. Waking up, not knowing where he was, All right, get out of the way. So when you come in here, if you have a stealth wheel, you could actually sneak. So you sneak around here. That's where the thing is. I'm not going to do it, but you get my point. <laughs> Shit. Down, metal right leg, they're good to keep. Um, yeah. I don't think I can hack that. Oh, I can. So there's a little fun hack. It's, an, it's not really a hack, but it's nice. a little, little cheat, I suppose, or something. I don't know. Let's just call it a hack. So yeah, there's a little hack you can do here. If you have advanced terminal and advanced safe. If you have companions who like it when you um, p uh, pick locks, so that would be Cat, that would be Piper, that would be Deacon, what you can do is you can, once you've killed all the raiders, because they do respawn, because there's only so many places where you can actually wait two hours and lock pick at the same time, you, you unlock the terminal and you can re-engage the lock on the safe so when you lockpick it, you'll get a like. You can then sit down for two hours, yeah, and lock, and then obviously re-engage it and lockpick it again, and they'll like it again. So it's a really, you're like farming likes, like so to speak. So it's really, really good. Um, as well as that lock, there's also, again, when the raiders have respawned, the locks will have respawned. You can unlock this, so that's another like. I can cause with move. If you go upstairs, there's a few more, and there's a magazine, so we are going to go upstairs. There's going to be one on the stairs, so be careful. What the fuck oh. was that? No, maybe not. Oh, hell no! That's magnificent equipment, shall we? such shit hell. Oh. 
Yeah, so once you get up here, it depends on what type of lock picking you have. Uh, if you've literally just started, then you're not going to really have much. Um, there's a lot of adhesive here. So there's a magazine here, grabbing at the barbarian. Again, you'll get critical hits with unarmed and melee attacks, permanently do 5% damage. So now I've got like 15 damage. Uh, there's a master save, we obviously can't do, do that. And then there's another one up here, it's a novice. So there's three independent locks and a multiple lock which you can farm likes um, from certain companions who like it when you lock pick. I'm not going to pick them because Codsworth doesn't like it when you, he, not he doesn't like it, he doesn't care when you do it. But I obviously I have to unlock this one to uh, thingy. And also another little hint. Um, when you are playing this game, if you come across keys, don't pick them up. Unless obviously you can't get back to it, but don't pick them up unless you've checked all the rooms are that big. Especially if you've got, well, as long as you've got companions who uh, like like it when you lockpick. Because then you can lockpick rooms, then you can get the keys for next time. But you know, just be aware hey, of that. Please, you gotta help me! Stealth boy! Set free. Don't worry. I'm here to rescue you. Oh my god. Thank you. Let's go. Now, you don't have to go back to Oberlin Station. You just need to get them out of Codwell. You just need to get them out of the actual room. <gasps> Combat shotgun. Yes. Gonna be upgrading that bugger when we get back. That took a lot of time. So that's kind of what you need to do. They'll sort themselves hey. out. Yes. And then you know they're fine now. So now we're going to pop to Diamond City. Um. Really, when you get back, all you do is you get like um. Yeah, you just you just get like a hundred and so many caps. 110 or 120 or 101 uh, and then they basically there you go you've got another settlement uh, so but really we're just going to go to diamond seat now you don't need to walk that person back um so i would suggest going up the main roads you know where you see these bridges and things you can go up here so there's basically there's diamond city the green wall. Um, it's actually obviously I don't. I'm. I'm Amer. I'm. Oh my god. I'm English. I don't really know American. You know places, but I kind of get what this is now. Um, this isn't Diamond City. I'm just having a look. Time's up, bitch. Let's get these Bastard. I didn't fucking fight you. Oh my god, okay, we're we switching for that. Oh, I'd like a little dust up to get the oil flowing, eh? Miss Bell, pick anything on? good? I can do this all day. What's all this then? There it is. <laughs> Shit, oh my god. I hate it when you first start. Oh, fuck. 
it's be all right. We'll just come out where um we got out of the backstreet apparel. <sighs> all right, let's get back. Let's get two diamonds here, for goodness sake. I've died twice so far. Alright, yeah, we're not going to go into that room. We're just going to go straight up. Sorry, I keep getting distracted. Uh, we're just going to go... Oh, there's a bank. You see that bank? You can go in there. There's tons of safes. You will need, like, a master hacking and um, lock picking. But when you go in there you can actually sit down and then you can lock pick another one but it's much easier if you just do it with the back street apparel alright here we are green wall green wall run 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 if you keep if you go this way you kind of need to go like south you'll come across that's the logo for diamond C. arrows pointing you to the way there that's where we need to get to there should be guards and turrets and that so don't worry if you've got somebody tailing it behind you they're not going to go out the way to Look protect the you the but you know the turrets are there right, so this damn city let's enter so it one of those fancy we aren't necessarily going to explore it but we are going to enter it Stop playing around, Danny. I'm standing out in the open here for crying out loud. I got orders not to let you in, Miss Piper. I'm sorry. I'm just doing my job. Ooh, just doing your job. Protecting Diamond City means keeping me out, is that it? <laughs> oh, look, it's the scary reporter. <gasps> I'm sorry, but Mayor McDonough's really steamed, Piper. Saying that article you wrote was all lies. The whole city's in a tizzy. You open this gate right now, Danny Sullivan. I live here. You can't just lock me out. I can wait all for you. day, Danny. Open up. You. You want into Diamond City, right? I. Uh, I want in. I just got here, but yeah. What, what's that? You said you're a trader up from Quincy? You have enough supplies to keep the general store stocked for a whole month? <laughs> you hear that, Danny? You gonna open the gate and let us in, or are you gonna be the one talking to crazy Myrna about losing out on all the supply? Jeez, all right. I need to make it personal, Piper. Give me a minute. Better head inside quick before old Danny catches on to the bluff. <laughs> Sounds okay. good. Let's go. Another great day in Diamond City. By the way, when you wear a vault suit, Piper, people will react don't let to you it. Back inside. I told Sullivan to keep that gate shut. You devious, rabble rousing slanderer. The level of dishonesty in that paper of yours. I'll have that printer Ooh, scrapped that a statement, for parts. Mr. McDonough? Tyrant mayor shuts down the press. Why don't we ask the newcomer? You support the news? Because the mayor's threatened to throw free speech in the dumpster. Always believed in freedom of the press. Right, they said. Cat, if you say you hate the press, she'll like uh, it. A true medium for the people. Oh, I didn't mean to bring you into this argument, miss. No, no, no. You look like Diamond City material. Welcome to the great green jewel of the Commonwealth. Safe, happy, a fine place to come. Spend your money, settle down. Don't let this muckraker here tell you otherwise, all right? You two what are you two arguing about anyway? What do you think? Print lies and everybody's happy, but if you print the truth, <laughs> now, 
Was there anything particular you came to our city for? I'm person. trying to find someone. Trying to find someone? Who? My baby. My baby boy, Sean. He's less than a year old. Wait, your son's missing? You hear that, McDonough? Is Diamond City Security just gonna stand by while a mother searches for her infant son all on her own? No, don't listen to her. Well, I'm afraid that our security team can't follow every case that comes through. I'm confident that you can find help here. Diamond City has every conceivable service known to man. One of our great citizens can surely find the time to help you. So now you want to save, because this is big. You're going to have to find who can help you. You're just going to have to search. Anyway, but if you save now and he doesn't accept it, this challenge thing, speech, th I don't know what it's fucking called. It's too late at night to care. Then you can reload and say shit like, you know, do it again. And well, do you have something to say? It may work, it may not. You just got to keep trying. A mayor of a great city must know everyone. Who can help me? Well, uh, uh, there is. But it works. I've got high charisma. Private citizen, Nick Valentine. Valentine. Of sorts, who specializes in tracking people down, usually for debts or whatnot. No, I have to get going. I'm sorry, Diamond City Security doesn't have time to help, but I'm sure Mr. Valentine charges a reasonable fee. This is ridiculous. Diamond City Security can't spare one officer to help. I want the truth, McDonough. What's the real reason security never investigates any I've had enough of this, Piper. From now on, consider you and that little sister of yours on notice. Yeah, keep talking, McDonough. That's all you're good for. <laughs> I'm impressed. Not everyone can claw information out of McDonough's tight-fisted hands. Hmm. Why don't you stop by my office after you see Valentine? I think I just found my next story. So that's another um, thing. You don't have to go see Valentine, but you can uh, go. Like you don't have to see Valentine first. You can just go straight to Piper. Um, but we're not gonna do that. So Head because of that side. whole thing. Right. So you're that traitor Piper was talking. You speak about. to Danny Sullivan because this is where he is. Something tells me she's pulled the wool over my eyes again. Am I right? If you say you're sorry, I it shouldn't matter. I to lie, officer. I it all just happened so fast. Uh, you're not the first one Piper pulled into a heap of trouble they weren't ready for. Thanks for being honest. If it were up to me, we would have just let the both of you in. But the mayor's calling the shots, and, well, you saw how mad he is. Anyway, welcome to Diamond City and all that. I gotta get back to work. What's up? Yeah, cool. So, Piper's obviously a newspaper woman, Mayor McDonough some reason he won't investigate disappearances but why are there so many disappearances hmm a mystery <laughs> so yeah that's Diamond City it is located in Fenway Park uh, obviously as I said I'm I'm English and not American but yeah Fenway Park in Massachusetts Boston Boston, Massachusetts. So, this is the famous Diamond City. I suppose I hope to find more of a gem than a dusty home base. Civilization <laughs> in the rough, if you will. Yes. So. This. Been saying that for weeks and the old girl still keeps cranking. Stop worrying so much. I gotta head into the office. And you start whistling if you see any angry politicians coming our way. Why? Is something wrong? Piper. So yeah, that's the way out. But this is Diamond City. So join us in the next episode where we speak to Piper in the cross story of a century. And, um, I don't know. Let's find out after we explore Diamond City. Thank you for watching. This is Belle, and I hope you join us for the next episode. Goodbye.